Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago Mewe, developer and investor. And in today's video, we are going to review some news about Ripple, the lawsuit against the SEC. And we are going to check the price action of Ripple and what we can expect on the short term and middle term for the price. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications. And without anything else, let's go into it. Hey guys, well this news appeared yesterday, the XRP uh, lawsuit related, the SEC files for seal agreeing with Ripple on irrelevance on third party identity and it's very interesting how all the events are turning into favor of Ripple on the last weeks. The SEC seems to not have a clear case against the Ripple or how to justify uh, everything of the news are saying about this lawsuit. You can see how the SEC agrees with the defendants that the identities on third parties are not relevant on the court's decision regarding defendants. Motion to compel permitting sealing of portions of documents revealing identities of individuals and entities where the public interest in such information was low. The seal and settlement specul speculation keeps moving in circles bringing us back to the SEC approaching Ripple for a seal to protect certain eminent individuals secrets hidden in the exhibits. Furthermore, the lawsuit also saw the SEC file a letter stating that it does not oppose Ripple's request to seal parts of certain exhibits in the interrogatory dispute. So it seems that the SEC has hidden things that don't want to show publicly um, maybe because of this and the pushing on, on the Ripple lawsuit, uh, we could see a settlement very soon, sooner than we expect. I will be hoping that that happen in October or November. So if we have a continuation of the bull run, this news will, will put the price of uh, XRP into the sky. And here exactly are mentioning the odds that are bet against the SEC. Because the SEC appears to be losing as the case unfolds, threat for the Commission is considering a settlement with the defendants to bury a lawsuit that is digging up an ancient past. Last week, the defendants filed a letter appealing the addition of three documents to be reviewed in camera based on a privileged log provided by the SEC after the August 31, 2021 telephone conference. The SEC saw havoc of these documents also include an email chain that could discredit the SEC former just an opinion argument regarding the 2008 human speech. So, well, this is this is huge. Um, like I say, we're well, expecting this and falls and get a settlement soon. And we have in the last week seen this about the Ripple CEO rebels, the only condition under which they will settle with the SEC. And this was the first time that we started to hear about the settlement from both parties. Uh, you can see here how um, Garly House appeared in the Fox network to talk about the need uh, for clarity of the security laws from the SEC. And also made it clear that only if the SEC agrees that XRP is not a security, quite similar to Ether, they would go for a settlement, uh, he explained it. So uh, Ripple is waiting for that for the SEC in order to get a settlement. And before we continue with the video, you can see here a banner of Bitscap. Um, Bitscap is a platform that I am using. Um, you can see this video, how I earned more than a 20%, actually was it 23% in one month using the bots trading platform Bitscap. You can check this video where I explain step by step how to set everything and here how to configure the API key to link your Bitscap with your exchange and then you can use the automatic bots that use uh, artificial intelligence to trade. And you, once you put everything on the platform with the setups that I put here, you don't need to do anything else. You will see each day how the bots generate uh, earnings for you. So it's very easy 
and you can have a passive income, which should be one of your goals in the crypto space. So check this video about Bitscap and use my refer link and you will have two weeks free with the pro account. More information about Ripple and XRP. After showing Ripple's board of directors in May, Rosa Rios is bashing Bitcoin for being a supposed speculative tool. Well, even if uh, Rosa Rios is part of the board of Ripple, of course, he will be speaking well about the project. But this is not anybody. She served at the US Treasury from 2009 to 2016 under the President Barack Obama, overseeing all currency and coin production activities with an annual budget of 5 billion. So she has been uh, working uh, in most part of her career, uh, very near to all this ecosystem. So probably someone that you should be listening, even if she's part of the board, she doesn't really need to say that publicly. Um, another good news about Ripple is that Ripple is helping Bhutan pilot a CBDC. The company claimed its CBDC solution would allow Bhutan Central Bank to deploy a digital coin without compromising financial stability or monetary policy objectives. So even if Bhutan is a small country with a population of almost 800,000, Bhutan gross domestic product amount to 2.5 billion in 2020. So the important here is that Ripple is, is in close relationship with uh, central banks on many countries and around the world. So. I think if they, they settle with the SEC, we will see an explosion in the price of uh, Ripple. And I'm mainly behind this because I'm planning to go heavily into XRP if the settlement goes well for Ripple, because that will catapult the, the, the price to very high prices uh, levels. I could see five, $5 uh, XRP easily if this comes up. Um, so going into the price, before we continue with the video, remember that I am doing an amazing giveaway. I will be giving half of a Bitcoin to one winner and five Ethereum to five different winners. If you want to participate, it's super easy, just a couple of clicks, follow the link in the description. But remember that you need to be subscribed to the channel with the bell on to be considered. Going to the daily price for XRP, uh, we are at 91, we are below the one dollar historical price and um, we can see here some of the history of the of the XRP price we have this double bottom which is a very clear reversal pattern here right now we are about the 100 uh, moving average on a daily and that is very important like in many other charts the 100 daily is acting really a support right now in this downtrend we went from 138 almost 140 to um, 86 cents very quickly here in a couple of days just two weeks and we are held in support in the 100 and I am not the only one that pay attention to that uh, level you can see that there are news that XRP are defending the 100 day moving average um, so this is something that you need to keep an eye on that we are at 88 here so going below that for me, it's going directly to this range, to the 79 to 65. And you can see how in the history of XRP against USD, uh, we have resistance, so is resistance here, resistance, resistance here. All this way was resistant until we break it and acted as support, 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 then resistance again the area, a little of support and now we can see if we break the 100 daily moving average I will see entering into this zone maybe a support at the 79 or maybe um, a support here at the 72 like we have in this 0.786 Fibonacci extension but right now uh, I don't I don't see the need to go lower of course it will depend on what Bitcoin does if it can break 41, 40 or 39 to the downside, then we can see a 70 cent XRP, of course. But we are right now from the last movement from this double bottom to this 1.4. Uh, we are right now in the golden pocket zones, which is uh, very attractive for a retracement after a big bump here. 
So I don't see the need to go to the 0.786 here on the price action. Again, it will depend on what Bitcoin does, but this is a very nice point held in a support, the 100 moving average to start consolidating to the upside and maybe gain the 1.20 again, of course, $1 first, about $1 and then $1.20. In the other side, we have these two uh, clear lines, even if you use these two peaks or all this uh, acting as resistance, 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 and now all this line of resistance. So in the other side, we need to go above here, which is above 40, 43. If not, we are continuing this downtrend on the other side. The stochastic other side is clearly uh, turning bearish here on the middle of the range. So this is very uh, bearish. So I will be waiting about what to do here, seeing uh, exactly what does the 100 moving average. So keep an eye on the price and keep an eye on the news about Ripple and the lawsuit with the SEC. That will be all for this video. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get the notifications. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.